Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hammered Corner. In today's video we had another episode of my show and tell series where I make a short video on a coin in my collection and tell you a little bit about it. It's a great way to watch some numismatic content, some great coins and hopefully learn a thing or two. In today's video we have a short cross penny from the reign of Richard I. Henry II's eldest surviving son Richard I who reigned from 1189 to 99 fulfilled his main ambition by going on the crusade in 1190, leaving the ruling of England to others. After his victories at Saladin at the Siege of Acre and the battles of Arsif and Jaffa, concluded by the Treaty of Jaffa in 1192, Richard was returning from the Holy Land when he was captured in Austria. In 1193, Richard was transferred to Emperor Henry VI's custody. In Richard's absence, King Philip of France tried to obtain Richard's French possessions through invasion or negotiation. In England, Richard's brother John occupied Windsor Castle and prepared an invasion of England by Flemish mercenaries, accompanied by armed uprisings. Their mother, Queen Eleanor, took firm action against John by strengthening garrisons and again exacting oaths of allegiance to the king. John's subservient activities were ended by the payment of a crushing ransom of 150,000 marks of silver to the Emperor for Richard's release in 1194. Warned by Philip's famous message, Look to yourself, the devil is loosed, John fled to the French court. On his return to England, Richard was recrowned at Winchester in 1194 before crossing the channel to defend his various territories against King Philip Augustus of France. Five years later he died in France during a minor siege of the castle against the rebellious baron. By the time of his death Richard had recovered all of his lands. His success however was short lived. In 1199 his brother John became king and Philip successfully invaded Normandy. By 1203 John had retreated to England losing his French lands of Normandy by 1205. His short tenure reign saw the continuation of the short cross medieval design following on from Henry II. It was thought for centuries that pennies from Richard and John were scarce and didn't survive the many years of recoinages. This was because the four consecutive monarchs used the same design and the name Henricus in the legend. We now know that the coinage was struck for 67 years and spanned the reigns of Henry II, Richard I, King John and Henry III. Hawkins however believed that all the short cross coins were struck during the last nine years of Henry II's reign that neither Richard nor John struck any coins in England, and that the coinage of Henry III began with the ensuing Long Cross issue. It was, in fact, not until the mid-1860s that the correct picture began to emerge. A number of respected numismatists made valuable contributions. The two most notable of them were William Hilton Dyer Longstaff and Sir John Evans, in an 1863 paper entitled Northern Evidence of the Shortcross Question, Longstaff proposed that the coins should be assigned to all four kings, Henry II, Richard, John and Henry III. And two years later, Evans published a paper entitled The Shortcross Question, which reinforced Longstaff's view and established a classification system that held sway for the following 50 years. In his work, which groups the shortcross coins into five classes, Evans benefited significantly from the findings of Eccles Hoard in 1864. The hoard, which contained no fewer than 5,715 English shortcross pennies, greatly assisted the chronological ordering and dating of the series. This was achieved by a detailed study and analysis of the mints and moneys represented, and by relating them to information gleaned from contemporary historical records. It was after many years of research that they were able to put the shortcross coins in chronological order of which coins of Richard and John came to surface. This penny is the first and only Richard short cross in my collection, weighing 1.04 grams. And if we look at the legend on the reverse, the coin was minted in Canterbury and the money who was in charge of the mint at the time was Vlard. Using Christopher Wren's short cross book, this coin falls under class 4B. And if you're looking at getting into these short cross types, then you should get Christopher Wren's short cross book. Links will be in the video description. Looking at class 4b, Christopher describes the class as possibly issued early in the reign of John, having a similar bust to that of class 4a, but has a single curl for hair each side of the face. Also, errors in legends are common within this subclass. 
This is a fantastic bit of reference material to begin your journey into this area of numismatics, with fantastic and realistic photographs of the coins of each class and subclass. This isn't the best example, with the portrait only being visible in certain lights, and the coin's flam being very clipped. But these aren't very common coins, and I'm very happy to have one in my collection. For those interested, this example cost me £70 inclusive of postage in 2021, and it's a great addition to my penny collection. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video here on the channel. Thank you all for watching, and as always, keep collecting!